school. Um, it's okay in Act 1. Now in Act 2, when you get on the, it's, it's making us uncomfortable with you twisting and turning. So what, what I think we're going to do is change the blocking just a little bit. Mr. Porto, you must stay. You must not let them send you away. You wish to follow me to remain? Yes, yes. There's something wrong. His heart was perfectly all right, I tell you. Perfectly. Black Coffee is by Agatha Christie. She is one of my all-time favorite mystery writers. I'm, I've always been a mystery buff, all types of books, but Agatha Christie has written so many plays that are just very classic. I think they're basically timeless. Someone in this room. Stolen my Babs, dear, I do wish you would put that vulgar song on the gramophone. One of the interesting things about this particular play is that even though it takes place in England, we have several different types of dialect which come into play. We have the Belgian accent with the wonderful Hercule Poirot, the Belgian detective. We have um, individuals with the very high British accent, and then we also have the Italian accent, and also a bit of Cockney. So it's, um, it pre has presented some challenges, but it's been very delightful. No pity! Oh, you've done what I said! I, I... Watching the ball Yeah, um, and Corelli, there's something about some of your lines during that <coughs> scene were a little on the slow side, uh, so we just kind of move it along a little bit more. Um, I'm still not exactly real happy about the reaction when Sir Claude is coming in and accusing. Now, I see body language and even almost a flushed face sometimes. 